Hello and welcome to Nerdio's WVD Demo of the Day video series. Today's video is going to be continuing our discussion of app attach application publishing. This is going to be the second in a series of videos. In last video, we looked at the process uh, or the step one in deploying app attach applications, which was linking an Azure Files storage location that is AD integrated to be able to store our app attach um, files or our app attach application packages. The next step is going to be actually uploading and managing these app attach packages. So you will notice there is a new menu option in the navigation called app attach apps. If we click on it, you will see that I currently have no apps that have been added. Although, as you recall, under settings and integrations, we've added a new app attached storage location, which is this particular Azure Files share. So let's go back into app attached apps. We're going to click on upload. And there are several pieces of information that we need to provide, including the VHD or VHDX file that contains an expanded MSIX application. So in order to go through this step, you will need to go through the process of extracting your MSIX package into a VHD or a VHDX file. And the instructions on how to do that are well documented by Microsoft and are linked right up here. So if you click on this link, it will take you to the page with those instructions. In the process of extracting your MSIX contents into a VHD package or VHD file, you will uh, note a few different pieces of information. For example, the Windows app name, uh, the parent folder you're going to use, the volume GUID into which this application is extracted, etc. So we'll assume that this information is available to you because you have packaged whatever MSIX application you have into this VHD package, and we'll just go through the process of uploading one such application. So in my case, I'm actually going to be uploading Notepad++ and using it for my deployment. And if you click on the little tooltip here, it will show you exactly what this field is. So in my example, it is going to, in fact, be the Notepad++. So this is its Windows name. I'm going to paste it in here. Give it the friendly name of Notepad++. Give it a description. Uh, tell it what the parent folder on the VHD file, the contents of the MSIX package were extracted to, the volume GUID into which it was extracted is going to be this. And now here is where I select my storage location, which is what I created or I linked in a previous video called App Attached North Central US. And finally, I click on Choose File to actually select my VHD file to upload into this environment. So let's go ahead and choose File, select my Notepad++, and click Import. So now this will take um, a few seconds to actually upload the VHD packaged application. Uh, the system is going to make a note of all of these various parameters. And then once the application is uploaded, it will be visible in the Nerdio Manager under the App Attach Apps section. And you will be able to manage this application um, as well as assign users and groups to it. Now, what you'll notice is that in Nerdio, the way we implemented assignment to an application is globally, meaning you are able to assign users or groups directly to the application and then map that application to individual host pools. So let me show you how that works. So now we have our Notepad++ application listed right here, and there are several actions you can take. You can either manage assignments, which is what we're going to do next, which is assign users and groups to it. We can edit any of the settings we provided on the previous screen, or we can delete this particular application package. If we delete it, it will obviously become unavailable for users to mount in future sessions. Uh, but what I want to show you now is how to manage assignments. So if we click on assignments, this is going to open up a page that's going to show us our users and groups. 
And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to assign a single user, and I'm also going to assign a security group. So let's search for our you know, marketing department group and click assign. So I've now made two assignments. One was a user and the other one was a group. So now this application is assigned to one user and one group, which may contain obviously multiple users. But what you'll notice is that it is not currently assigned to any host pools, which means that these users and groups will not see this application anywhere in their WVD environment until we take the application and we assign it to a host pool, which is going to be the topic of the next video. And I will see you soon. Thank you.